so we're gonna talk about my dating life. I have never in my life told these stories and I might get in trouble because if the guy watches, my life is over. Dating as an entrepreneur is tough. You know, you don't know if people are there for you for clout or they just want to use you for their own career. And a lot of people that are tend to be ambitious or in a social media scene are really fake. So you don't know who to trust. All right, so one of my first experiences dating an entrepreneur was the Instagram DM guy. I know, this guy like, who, who knew LA guy DMing me? So typical, right? But I thought he was different, okay? So let's name him Brad. Brad, if you're watching this, just click off. You already hurt me so much, so just get the fuck out of this video. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so Brad DMs me. This is like four years ago. Like I was a fucking wee, wee child. I was like 17, he was like 18. And I remember he was like, I like your YouTube video. Let me know if you need anything. I click on his profile. Brad is verified. And I was like, you know, I just dropped out of school during this time, started my YouTube channel, started my business. So I was like, wow, like I really didn't think of him as like a relationship. I just thought it was so cool that like he liked my video. And he was like, oh, thank you so much guys. This is the porridge, quick intermission. I'm kind of hungry. Holy sh So Brad is an entrepreneur. He has a company that sells a lot of products in e-commerce. And I just thought it was so cool. So we met up actually at a coffee shop. And immediately, like, it wasn't a romantic relationship. It was just like, we got along so well. We just had such a good vibe. Like, he was just such an energetic, charismatic person. And he asks me, hey, Jay, do you want to go to New York? So I met this guy on Instagram DM. We met at a coffee shop. And now he's asking me to go to New York. What did I say? Of course. <laughs> So we go to New York because it's for a marketing conference and I told him I really wanted to meet other entrepreneurs so he kind of brought me along. So we go to New York and I made all his friends and it was a really great time. So me and Brad, keep in mind platonic, like we're not dating. We just love to travel together. Like we went to every single marketing conference. We went to like Austin, LA, like we just were traveling because we would kind of do work together. And one of the things of dating entrepreneurs or like being even friends with them is like there's a lot of things you do together because it benefits you and your career. But you're still friends at the core, but it is a fine line, right? I say this detail because me and Brad were like in the same industry. I was in social media, he was in e-commerce. We really like worked well together. And when we went on to our Europe trip, this is where things got spicy. Essentially what happened was we were going to Europe and all of Brad's entrepreneur friends were seeing this on social media. You know, I'm posting it. I had a following at the time. He did too, kind of. And we just posted vlogs together, everything. And I started to like Brad because, I don't know, just this just shit happened. Like, I remember looking at him and I was like, oh my god, I think I like you. You know how you have that one guy or friend or girl where you like don't like them because they're ugly or like, you know, they're just a homie. But suddenly they look attractive to you and you're like, shit like it's changing everything and like I felt that way to him I didn't know if he felt that way to me until we were in Paris I know and we were holding our hydro flasks and we were walking in Paris at like 2 a.m. and our hydro flasks clink like literally clink like so our hands like touch a little bit and in that moment we looked at each other and we're like I think I like you okay so things are going well right like we like each other it's unspoken but like we kind of know we post photos of each other the trip was amazing Europe was amazing I went to Europe with my crush right great <clears throat> one month later he sends me the footage of Europe okay right because he's helping me vlog we're collaborating right I get a Dropbox file of like maybe one gigabyte of just a lot of footage obviously I'm sorting through the footage but weirdly enough there's a folder that had nothing to do with Europe it was called like C7123 just random because like, it was a Europe uh, folder and then this random folder I click on it because I'm curious what is this and it's a video it's a one hour video and I'm like what is Brad doing for one hour the video is a is a footage of him talking shit about me to his other entrepreneur friends now how, how bad could it be right how bad it could be you and Brad are friends like how bad could Brad say things about you so essentially what happened was Brad's friends in this footage was like Jade is so ugly why are you with her you could do so much better and literally Brad said nothing and he was just sitting there while everyone in this like group which I'm well aware of like we met each other in New York like that's a thing like it's crazy how like his friend group that I met in marketing conference everywhere I met them they were talking so many mean things about me saying like Jade's not successful Jade's not really that pretty and as someone who like is on camera a lot and I, I don't know like also has a friendship with Brad like I was so betrayed I was so hurt and Brad was just sitting there on the footage of just doing nothing nothing to defend me just like kind of agreeing silently so I called him Alfred I was like what the fuck is this Brad and Brad was just like oh my god I'm so sorry like first of all who the fuck records <laughs> a footage of their friends conversation I'm like you're a dumb bitch you deserve this second of all I was like I don't know like 
that's a lame thing. I, I can't believe he thought about me like that. And um, that was the Instagram DM story. So now I'm very hesitant to open DMs because bitches be fake, care about their superficial things. And I'm really just embarrassed by the whole thing. Fun fact though, me and Brad are still friends and there's more to it. We ended up going to a wedding together. So if you guys want more Brad stories, just let me know. <laughs> so we're actually at this cafe in Granada, Spain and my editor, Amanda, <laughs> got sick. So I'm hanging out with her brother <laughs> and we're, eating, we're having a good time. So what did you think of the last story? Yeah, that was wild. I know. This next one is more insane, okay? It has to deal with another guy I met on social media. Who knew? I literally, this story, I'm afraid of because the guy watching this actually watches my videos and like he will see this. So if you're watching this, just move along, okay? This is called the Met Over TikTok guy, okay? His name is Brody for this story and we met over TikTok. He's also a creator slash YouTuber slash entrepreneur. You see the pattern here, okay? <laughs> I thought Brody was really cute. Off the bat, this was different than Brad. Like, but Brad, I was like, you're really nice as a friend, but then we liked each other. With Brody, I was like, Oh, so cute. <laughs> like I like, I liked his vibe. So he's like, we should go on Instagram live. And I comment back and be like, sure. We exchange phone numbers from TikTok to our phones and we hop on a FaceTime call. And immediately he's like, he's, he's just like so nerdy. Like I was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm coding. Like it was just really cute. Like I, I really like that. It's like a really cute character. So we got on like really, really well. And we just didn't even talk about the Instagram live. We, like, we just talk about life and business and things we're working on. And immediately I tell him, my, my birthday's next week. Do you want to come to Vegas? And I didn't know what he was going to say. I was going to, maybe he's going to be like, yeah, I'll think about it. Maybe. He goes, sure, let's go. And I was like, keep in mind, we're still friends. Like, we're not like, you know, nothing too flirtatious. Like, I don't really want to flirt at this point, but I just, I did think he was really cute. And I didn't know if he liked me. That's the number one thing. So we made up in Vegas for my birthday. <clears throat> it was really funny because I had four other people coming to my birthday party. We had a hotel room together, right? One by one my friends dip so it's just me and Brady Brody sorry Brody <laughs> alone in a hotel room together for like a weekend anyways we're actually not going to go into the Vegas story keep in mind I could probably go on with Brody so if you guys want another story time about Brody or Brad just comment below because there's so much more we're actually gonna fast forward from the Vegas trip to another trip we go to we went to Arizona okay this is where shit gets kind of wild kind of bad so me and Brody are still friends we have nothing like we're just still friends okay like nothing romantic is happening we're just kind of vibing i still don't know if he likes me like he's he saw me in vegas he visited me in my home city like i just still didn't know if he liked me like i really didn't we go to arizona and we are with my other friends they're also entrepreneurs and creators something that you guys should know is like as an entrepreneur dating entrepreneurs you typically like will have your other friend group come and they might be the same thing so it's really interesting because like i'm keep in mind i'm traumatized from brad like i'm traumatized from their entrepreneur friend up hating me. I was like, I really wanted to make a good impression on this trip. I don't want to make fun of myself. I just want to look cool. So we go to Arizona. We got a cabin. It's a really fancy, beautiful cabin. We spent way too much money on it. I fucking sometimes hate traveling with them because like they're bougie friends, okay? So <laughs> one of the nights in the cabin, we decide to go hot tubbing. So keep in mind, it's really dark. It's really dim. And it's a really, it, it views the beautiful forest, okay? So me, Brody, the two friends we went with, we go in the hot tub of our Airbnb. So we're having some drinks, we're having some good vibes, and suddenly our two friends leave the hot tub. They're like, we're gonna give you guys some space. So they leave the hot tub, they go upstairs, and we're, me and Brody were just like, why did they leave? Like, that's really sus. Like, we haven't said anything. Like, we haven't said to them, like, we like each other, like, nothing like that. So just me and Brody, maybe they caught on the vibe. I tell Brody, because Brody's just being so weird. Like, he was just kind of being some sus vibes. Like, he was swimming in the hot tub and, like, looking at me, and I was like, okay, I need to confront him. Like, it's been on my mind. I decided to just, like, wait it out. I, I'm still really nervous. Like, I, I don't typically tell people I like them, but this time I was like, I have to, because he's not confessing. Long story short, he says, hey Jay, do you want to see a party trick? And I'm like, where's this gonna go? <laughs> and I'm like, sure, I'll see a party trick. And then he's like, okay, let me, why don't you go first? And I'm like, okay, I'll go first. But then I got nervous. I was like, I don't actually have a party trick. So I was like telling him, close your eyes. And he's like, okay. So in my head, what, what would you do? Tell me, what would you do, okay? If, if the crush that you're liking is like in a hot tub alone, and he goes, let me see a party trick. And then you're like, I'm shy though. And he's like, I'll close my eyes. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna think? Maybe it's a kiss, right? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I leaned in for a kiss, smoochy, smoochy. His eyes are closed. He's not moving, he's in the hot tub. It's a beautiful city in Arizona, like nights young, stars are out, such a vibe, right? 
the minute my hand caresses his face, he literally was like getting this close to my face and suddenly opens his eyes and moves back and I fall in the water in the hot tub. What happened, Jade? I get out of the water and I sprung up. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? He's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, oh, we can't do this right now, Jade. <laughs> Excuse me, Brad? I mean, Brody? Sorry, they have actually really similar names. That's a funny thing. I was like, excuse me, what, what's going on? And he's like, I, I, I have to tell you tomorrow morning. And he wouldn't tell me what happened. So what would you do in my suit? You, the guy that you like, you made a move. He embarrasses, I, I felt embarrassed at least. And he suddenly says, tomorrow morning, let's talk about it. That night I could not sleep. And keep in mind, we were in the same bedroom, sleeping in separate beds, of course. Making room for Jesus. I could not sleep. He, was, like my, he literally was sitting next to me. He gets up really early and he goes over my face like this and he goes, are you awake yet? It's like 9.30. I'm like, okay, what do you want? He's like, let's talk. I'm like, bro, it's 9.30, God damn it. I'm like, fine, I'll get ready. And he's like, let's go on a walk. Okay, so I get my clothes, like I get ready. We leave the Airbnb and we go on a quick little walk. He pulls out a phone. This bitch had a motherfucking presentation. I'm not joking, he had a presentation. And I'm just gonna reenact it for you, okay? POV, you're me, and you're talking to Brody. He takes out his phone, and he makes a diagram. He goes, hey Jade, this is a box. On the left side is friends. On the right side is dating. There's certain activities you do where when you cross the line, you're immediately dating and not friends. Now, there's people like me, who I would consider a shy guy, where certain activities cross the line immediately. Now, there's girls, maybe like you, that are a bit more out there, where it's just certain activities that cross the line, but it's a little later, because you can do more things. So that's why I couldn't kiss you last night, because I like you, but I don't know where we stand, and I don't want to cross the line. I hate dating computer science people, because they're too analytical. So me and Brody and Brad, there's a pattern here, keep getting rejected, sad. We're all still friends, and that's the funny part, and they're all still a little in my life, but that is to be continued. I hope you guys enjoyed the stories. Lesson learned, just first of all, like really put your self-worth into your own self, not other people's validation. Like something that would really help me with this whole crisis is if I didn't value what other people thought or if Brody's friends or Brad's friends, then I just value myself. I really think that would help me a lot. And the second thing is, if a guy is sending you mixed signals, it might be better to ask straight up if he likes you maybe before making a move or if he's fucking confusing. Don't worry if you're embarrassed because you did your best. All right, good luck, chicas. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my sad, sad story times. So hopefully I'll update you with some more fun ones. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, just comment below. Thank you, Ismael, for filming. Okay, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>